What values do I find in heaven and um, with some direction to bring heaven to earth to move into this space? <laughs> Eloquence to value speech or writing that is vivid, forceful, no. ah, <laughs> graceful, and persuasive. <laughs> Eloquent. <laughs> mm, so the, the conversation type is creativity conversation. At the beginning of the, and it says ideation. Ideation? Uh, at the beginning of the creation process where ideas are discussed and flushed out. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing that a little bit. <laughs> All right, and the choice lens. Mm is role the normal or customary activity of a person in a particular social setting hmm. all right well elephants i think i was like dancing it out already and spoken to that um value of speech or writing that is vivid forceful fluent graceful and persuasive so, so just coming into like all these stories that are being reported from the scene and the atmosphere here and collected with the characters that are all here that are like in this book and reenactment of it. Um, yeah, it's almost like there's so many possibilities here. Actually writing. Um, ideation, I haven't used that word before the creativity conversation at the beginning of the creation process where ideas are discussed and fleshed out. Mm. So I guess I just need to like write all these ideas and inspiration that come from the last week here and map it out. Uh, role. So this is my choice lens. The normal or, cust or customary activity of a person in a particular social setting. So perhaps to define my role within this um, group and team, or roles, to be clear on what my roles are. That's a question I have to it at the Elemental Collective land as well. Uh, but yeah, I guess for here right now. All right, I'm opening it up. <laughs> I, I feel like with the um, yeah, it's beautiful how it ties in. Like the the so all the like the beautiful guidance, instructions, and uh, direction we're receiving from heaven, like you know, from mm. the the great oneness, the universe source, is um, yeah. How do we how do we manifest that into like we were talking about like into into this into this space that can be um, shared with everybody. So the roles, I feel like, so what has been spoken a lot about is like the different roles, like you have like the loggers, us, like the different characters, mm. like the things that bring the stories to life. Mm. And so when we, like with these, with these roles, like there's going to be lots of ideas about like, you know, how it, like um, there's going to be lots of ideas about what the roles can play, what they do, where they come from, like what the meanings they convey. And so when you flesh out the ideas, what is the eloquence of the message, like how, like how, what is the most eloquent way that you can creatively, uh, accurately, I guess, bring to life and like the wholeness of this picture? And um, yes, and like within that, there's all these beautiful stories and metaphors. And yes, there's so much, so much stories going on. But how can we eloquently bring the role of the mm -hmm. loggers into this? Like, and, mm -hmm. and like the animals of like the. Um, yeah, the, the elements around and the fairies and all of us here. And it's so beautiful. It's just like so perfect. How do, <laughs> how do we eloquently, like, yeah, convey the story? Yeah. And what is like this idea? Yes. And we're bringing, we're bringing, we're channeling like, um, 
like how, how to honor the old growth in its like, you know, most, most divine way right here. And this is, yeah, this is how we're gonna do it. Yeah, I think Serena, you're on the right path. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just think you keep doing the work and yeah, the map and the stories and wow. yeah, working with the children, like that's all working with the children brings it down to earth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the heaven down to earth. Yeah. yeah. See the children. The down to earth. I've been singing that song. Yeah. 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 Calling down the heavens, calling down the heavens, calling down the heavens and reaching for the stars. Oh, and then he dropped the stars the to the ground. <laughs> You're on the right path. <laughs> yeah. Totally. And then with the with the ideation, like the flushing, what are you grounding? What are you going to transmute back to the earth? Because the earth will receive and transmute the 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 stories that may not necessarily serve a purpose really in actually bringing this together. The earth is going to transmute that and bring it into a core and return it to life. And so it's important to ground it. And when you're grounding, it's kind of like, you know, the electricity, like you're just like, just, yeah, like the, the charges, like what do you want to ground and what do you want to keep present here um, that we can we can share. So yeah, yeah, make, make sure the grounding too, the heaven and the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think the children, like you said, the embodying of it, all that, yeah, non-human communication, and the elementals, and you just ground with the children. For sure, yeah. Yeah. we get For to sure. play them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you.